Hello Bucks fans, welcome to Real Bucks Talk. In today's video, we are going to do a film study on Iowa cornerback Cooper DeGene. He is a fun watch, a very good football player. So hope you guys enjoy this and be sure to hit that like button. Yeah, number three, bottom of your screen. A lot of what you're going to see is just his natural awareness of where the ball is going. Like in space, he's not covering anyone, right? But he's understanding where's the quarterback looking. I'm going to go over to drift over to space, not just stay in my zone where my guy is leaving, right? Who else could be coming into my spot? That is heady awareness. That's being knowledgeable of the game. And then the ability to locate the ball over your head like a receiver, come down with it, and then do something with it. Look where he starts, and then look where he ends up. It's nuts to see, but I'll let you break down the whole play of what happened and just why is this a valuable piece of what you would want on a defense. Yeah, so you know, right off the bat, he is definitely – a lot better in zone than he is in man coverage. Not saying he isn't good in man coverage, which we're going to get to, but his instincts just take over, take to another level. But also he caught the ball. And I think that's a big, that's a big thing. That's a big factor for the Buccaneers secondary who have struggled to catch the football. And not only that, he has great return skills. But again, here's another pick six as you see him lined up outside. And again, you can kind of see the hip, you know, stiffness there, but his ability to cut this route again and just undercut, pick it off. Um, but I like his understanding of knowing he's got help behind him so he can play this super aggressive to cut it inside because he knows if, okay, if he gets beat by the football, it's okay. He's got a guy behind him. So just really heady football player, always in, the, in a good position. And he just finds a way to get to the football. And the big thing, plus saying tight hipped, I mean, look at him immediately getting beaten, beaten off the snap. So like the guy that gives a little head fake goes in, look how he's still stuck there in the mud. This guy's peeling off. Look at the separation that happens here. That doesn't look like a lot in the NFL. That is a lot. Like, look at this guy. Look at the separation there. Like that should, if the quarterback sees that, if it's not a whip route, that's easy. That should be a quick first down conversion. Let's get it going. Move the chains. And then even here, like as he dips down, He's slow to kind of get out of that. But then once he gets it, you saw his 40 yard dash today. I mean, the guy can move. And once he, again, catches the ball, he knows what to do with it. And he's really good with his hands. Athletic freak, played basketball, broke records in high school. Like the guy can do a lot of things. If your only thing is worrying about his man press. Okay. But we, we, we just told you, we don't do a lot of that recently. We do try to at times, when, when the blitz isn't getting home, right, with his own blitzes don't get home. But the thing is, this is where he's masterful at. And if you can use this piece with along with Jamel Dean's ability and Winfield's ability, uh, Jordan Whitehead's ability, like it's just a, a piece where you can use and de just develop a whole defense as a whole, as opposed to just, oh, just play man. That's one thing Carlton Davis was good at. Okay, cool. But you, it's a lot more than just man defense or zone defense. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, and, and, you know, yeah, would he be better? And I think he's an ideally a cover three corner. And you see him, again, eyes on the quarterback here, but just the vision that he has, the anticipation that he plays with, you know, looking at the football and being able to read and react and then also make plays. I mean, look at that. It just being able to find a way and then almost takes this back to the house. So, again, he's special with the ball in his hands. I think – he just has really good instincts, a good football player. Um, yes, that as far as being a sticky man corner, probably not going to be that, but I think he could add a ton of value uh, to your team as we continue to go through the tape here. Well, with that play itself, like most corners just give up on it. It's not my man. I'm not going to cover it. He, no one expects it to be tipped and then pick up the ball. The same thing here. Look at where the receiver's at. He's not just watching the receiver. He's feeling where the receiver's at. That's an amazing awareness he has. And then realizing, okay, where's the quarterback going with this ball? That is way overthrown. To understand the trajectory of where that ball is going, to leave the receiver completely to go after the ball, that's awesome. Our corners have been, for the past, years past, Jamel Dean specifically does not catch the ball at all, especially in big situations. He always drops it, especially when it's in his hands, both hands. This guy secures it. Toe tap. Interception. Phenomenal, phenomenal, <laughs> phenomenal work. Go ahead, plus. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, the background on this kid, he's a, a super athletic. Again, this was he played quarterback in high school. He was a receiver 
So obviously that shows the hands there. Um, all-time basketball player. Uh, he he had more points than Harrison Barnes in high school as far as a, as far as basketball. So super athletic kid, very gifted. Um, but you see him here just again, click and close, being able to come downhill and, and attack and make the tackle. Um, here fighting through traffic, identifying where the football is going. So just his diagnosis of plays is very fast and quick. I think that's where his added value comes. Yes. Would you like to see the hips move a little bit quicker? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But when he is in attack mode, I think he's, he's really good. And I think that's where he would be really fun to have in, in Todd Bowles scheme. And I think he would fit it uh, pretty well. Yeah. It's that thing where Todd Bowles says he's just a good football player. Like understanding how to get through the trash, that's that's huge. Instead of going around the whole entire group, he went through it and found an alleyway where he could get through. Playing smarter, playing faster, not just playing faster because you can run faster, but playing smarter and diagnosing plays before they happen. Quarterback's getting it out. Let me get after this. Yes, he's covered it. It's a bad throw, but still he would have been there to immediately either knock the ball down or just in the proper place to make a play on the ball. A lot of good stuff from Cooper DeGene, and it's like, you just see it time and time again. Like, the, how heady is this? I'll let you break this one down because I couldn't believe this stuff. Yeah, when I saw this play, I was like, "Are you serious?" Like, the the dude has eyes in the back of his head, but he's just so good with his feel and instincts. Again, seeing where the football is going, now he just churns his hips, spins back, and makes a play on the football. Trying, probably, you know, frustrated that he didn't come down with the interception, but still a great play nonetheless. Um, I, I just think, again solid football player now here in the slot. Yeah. A little handsy here in man coverage, but he does a good job of his footwork moving back inside with the receiver and then ability to make a play on the football. Now, again, that's a bigger receiver. I think that might be a tight end if, if not mistaken, but, or just a huge receiver. Um, <laughs> but he, he's got size too. So he can play, you know, these type of matchups, you know, at six, one, two Oh five, you know, this is where he comes into play. And I think, again, a chess piece. And I, I think that adds a lot of value to his game. What I like about this one, though, yes, it's handsy, but sometimes the refs let you play. What you don't see is him pulling a jersey. Yeah, he may be pulling his back. Right. But once he gains that leverage, he sticks with him and then starts transitioning with the guy. If there's no pull, tug, there's no extra stretched arm. He's right there with him the whole way and then makes a play on the ball not by ripping at the guy's jersey. Look at his back arm. He's not pulling nothing. That was just a good play on the ball. And sometimes you got to let these guys play. I mean, it can't be just all ticky-tack everything. And when, when you get in the heated of the, of the actual game, sometimes they do let that go, especially if there's no pulling of the jersey. Here we go again. Again, at the top of the route, he's just running into the path of the receiver, letting him go a little bit, no big pull, staying with it getting on hit on the ball. Like I like that stuff. I mean, that's just doing enough as a football player, not just pulling cheating by pulling jerseys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, just good technique and, you know, fighting and, and driving through the football, driving through the player here um, as, as he comes back to it and makes the tackle. So yeah, really good stuff um, as we continue on. And maybe people are going to get mad. Yeah. I like the drive there of that the hip issue. That's why he's a safety. I, I think he can play both. I mean, it's, it's not necessarily, yes, he's not going to be a lockdown man, but he just brings so much more to the table that you can see the argument. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And, and again, this is good, good uh, fluidity here as he drops and, and comes back to the football and again, makes a play on this pass breakup. You know, we'll see the reverse angle here uh, as it comes through. Um, again, just good footwork and ability. You see his eyes again, eyes are back to the quarterback. He sees where that football is going, knows how to locate it and makes a play incomplete. So uh, yeah, I think he's good enough to, to play both. And I think there's unlocked potential with Cooper DeGene as well. So there's no telling that. I mean, there's no reason why he can't get better at, at man coverage. And here it is again, like check the hips out. This is the only area where they're like, Oh, he's, Trash, he's not a corner. Watch as this guy dips everything down and transitions back to the quarterback. The cult, it takes him like an extra step or two, like one, two to gather, then to transition back. Yeah, that that happens. But a perfectly timed quarterback route with a receiver that you're going to get beat. 
Um, it doesn't matter if you're Daryl Revis in your prime or Cooper DeGene in, in high, Iowa. So with that, sometimes you got to live with it, but he's right there to make the tackle, even though the guy caught it. Now, run mm-hmm. defense, another very close align reason why people think he could be a good safety too. Yeah, I think, you know, slot defender, um, safety, corner, but you can see he's at his best when he's attacking, uh, getting downhill. Um, and making plays that's probably why he's more suited to play in zone coverage as a like a cover three corner um, it's a big reason why the Buccaneers brought in uh, Bryce Hall because he does that very well too uh, but you can just see in his game where he can get a- and make plays I like this one here where he's um, getting stretched out and finds a way to get back to the football again gets off the block and, and makes the tackle and that's a huge part of his game he's probably the best tackling corner in this draft class um, doesn't miss many tackles. Here is a great play. He's going to come downhill and watch this again, move his feet, get outside and make a diving tackle here. Really good tackle, um, to, to save a big, bigger play than it was. So really like his tackling ability. And that's a huge part in today's NFL game. A yeah, good thing he made that tackle because if he didn't, he's the only outside guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah absolutely. Good. Yep. Same thing here. Yeah. Go ahead and take away. Yeah, so same thing here, fighting through blocks, pushing his guy back. Again, doesn't make he misses that tackle there after I talk about his tackling ability, but still a good job forcing him back inside to his help. Um, and again, just good overall play. Now here, you know, one slot rep in, in pass coverage. Uh, so again, he's got that versatility, pretty sticky coverage there. Um, and, you know, just forces the quarterback to make a hard throw and a, a difficult catch if it was going to be made. But guys, that's Cooper DeGene right there. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below your thoughts of Cooper DeGene. Uh, What do you think his fit is going to be at the next level in the NFL? Do you see him strictly as a safety? Or do you think he's a corner matchup piece, a a Swiss Army knife, uh, to say at the least? Uh, Let us know your guys' thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And with that said, until the next one.